Good morning loves and welcome to a new vlog. So today is Tuesday I'm pretty sure and I'm gonna take you through a day in the life. I'm gonna vlog my day today because I've got quite a lot to do actually. I've got some work to do which which during quarantine is honestly kind of rare. Some days I have these like manic days where I've got so much work to do and some days I've literally got nothing to do and i like to make myself pointless work because i'm one of those people that needs to be productive otherwise i feel like i'm losing the plot so that's fun i've just woken up it is um five past seven i like to wake up early and just start the day and get everything rolling i don't like lying in i just don't i just feel like i waste my day when i do that so i make myself coffee and then go upstairs and get showered <laughs> So I am going to go home today to film an ASOS haul um, because I just don't like filming here like I just it's just not my vibe is it if you have watched my videos you'll know that this is not me <laughs> I um yeah I don't I don't like the aesthetic of this house the way my friend decorates is quite different to me he's very colourful like he loves colours everywhere and I don't <laughs> I don't like colours like I don't think I've ever had colours in my house like seriously ever um I've only had like blues and pinks and like soft colours or like colours that are so dark they're almost black um and this house is very much colourful and it's not my vibe uh and the room that I'm staying in here is very small so I can't film in there either there's the dog so I'm gonna go home to film. Also, I'm really excited about filming at home because I'm literally renovating a house right now, um, which is so much fun and so exciting. Um, I started renovating it probably a week ago. Honestly, this stuff takes so long to do. It's unbelievable. I thought I'd have it done in like two or three days and I've literally only done the lounge, which still isn't finished, um, the hallway and like half the bathroom. And I've still got to paint like the lounge top walls white, the hallway top walls white, uh, the bathroom white, I've got to do loads and my room's still not finished, I need to buy some lamps and yada 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 but you can hear all about that in my home renovations vlog that I'm filming at the minute, it'll probably be up um, next week I'd imagine but right now I'm going to head upstairs and jump in the shower so I can get ready with you guys because I really want to show you my ooh, everyday makeup routine that I've been doing for the sunny days because it's very sunny right now in the UK So I just got out of the shower and applied my moisturiser and everything. I just put my pyjamas back on because they're so comfortable and easy to wear. Um, I've actually come out with some eczema on my arm. It was a lot It was a lot worse and it's been slowly going. But if you guys have any advice on how to get rid of it, I'd really appreciate it. Because it's just annoying at this point. It's like really annoying me. I can't get rid of it. Um, I've been using this E45 cream. Um, but it still hasn't gone. I've probably been using this cream for like two weeks and it's still there. <gasps> got the hiccups um so if you guys know any ways of getting rid of eczema i'd love to hear it because i've never had eczema in my life and i've suddenly <laughs> come out with it i also wanted to mention that this video is sponsored by ricky loves ricky and if you've not had this brand before i don't know how but like they're literally incredible they make the best mirrors in the world i've actually got the ricky tool which i'll show you now so this is the mirror it's literally huge and incredible i've popped it in here for now because obviously i'm not at home um and lockdown will probably be lasting like another month or two and i wanted to use it i couldn't wait i was so ex excited i love this mirror for so many reasons it's so sturdy like this is literally like solid it's got like an acrylic plate at the bottom which will mean it like literally goes with any desk it comes with a remote control um and it's just gorgeous the quality of the mirror is absolutely amazing like you know those mirrors that you just look in it's like pristine qu quality it's like that sorry about my hiccups and then it's got this magnifying mirror which like literally zooms you in a million percent which is so useful notice things on my face that i didn't even know were there this combined with the lighting of this mirror is just insane 
And then it also comes with this, which I've been using so much, which just clips onto the mirror. It clips onto the mirror because it's magnetic. And then you can pop your phone in there and you can also turn it around. So it's landscape. It's literally incredible. It's so good. And it's got different magnified points all throughout the mirror. So you can put the magnifier there. You can put it at the top. And things just clip onto the mirror. It's so useful and incredible. So I'm going to show you what it looks like on. So obviously you've got the remote. You just press on like that. And then it goes up. And there you go, it's so bright. Like literally, look at the difference between this. Okay, so here is me with the mirror. The light, with the lights on, and then here is me without. Can you believe that? Look at the difference, there's literally an insane difference. On. The light off compared to the light on is just insane. I can't believe how much power this mirror has. And it is like absolutely stunning it's just a gorgeous design it's so simple it can go on anybody's desk and honestly i feel like it's an investment piece that everybody kind of needs i've wanted a light up mirror for so long and i've seen these mirrors around everywhere everyone i know talks about them because they're just incredible like everyone talks about them for like the right reason you can't not love these and also it's got a little camera setting on here so you connect it to your phone and you just pop your phone on there and you can take selfies or record videos or live stream or whatever the case may be and you'll always have good lighting for it and also this kind of acts as a ring light as well so if you film like tiktoks or fashion videos or stuff like that on instagram you can use the light as that it's not just it's not just a light up mirror it's got so many different uses and the little remote is so useful so i just feel like it's one of those pieces that are so multifunctional you can just do so much with it and i absolutely love it so i'm gonna sit and curl my hair now and then i'm gonna film my everyday makeup for you guys but i'm actually gonna film it on my phone because my phone my camera does actually fit in here but i feel like my phone just fits in there a little bit easier i feel like my camera stretches it a little bit too much So I've just finished doing my hair as you can see and I'm actually going to transition over to my phone so I can film my everyday makeup for you guys because I've been meaning to do this on IGTV but I thought what better chance to do it than in front of my new mirror, turn all the brightness up and film a video and pop it in the vlog for you guys. So yeah, I'm going to transition to my phone now. Okay, so I'm going to start doing my makeup now and run you through it. Um, and while I'm doing that, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the mirror. Um, because I honestly love it and I feel like so many of you guys will too. So I've just been using my simple moisturiser at the minute because it's really light. Um, and my face wash is quite moisturising as well. Um, my skin's just in a really good place at the minute so I only need something like, you know, light and breezy. Um, if I'm looking for a heavier moisturiser I'll usually go in with um, the Elemis Superfood moisturiser which is a little bit thicker, a little bit heavier for the days that your skin's a little bit drier. Um, and I'm also going to be buying my SPF and my eye cream which I do every single day. It's so important to apply SPF, like honestly please do. Um, mine is from Sunprise, it's 50, SPF 50 um, and it's just so important and I just apply a little bit of this. I really recommend this one if you're looking for an SPF, don't forget your neck. Um, because it's very thin, it's designed to be used on your face. A lot of SPFs can be quite greasy. Oh, I hate talking when I'm putting something on my neck. There we go. A lot of SPFs can be quite greasy um, and oily and really affect the way your makeup goes on. But for me, this one is just absolutely perfect. It doesn't leave my skin greasy. It just leaves it moisturised. Um, it doesn't affect the way my makeup goes on at all. It's completely fine. And for my eye cream, I use the Mario Badescu Hyaluronic Eye Cream. Love this stuff. I actually need to get my jade roller because my face is... I've got quite a puffy face. Um, I need quite a lot of salt, so I get a lot of like water retention in my face. So I need to get my jade roller from home. I love putting my eye cream on, it, just, it really makes a difference. 
to my eyes especially when they're really puffy in the morning so this mirror i'm so excited to be collaborating on this video with them because i just absolutely love it i love showing you guys products that i love and i know that you will love as well this is one of those things that you just need it's the ricky tall which i think is just fantastic i wanted a big like spacious mirror especially with what i do i think it's so useful to have a mirror this big and it looks beautiful as well it looks really luxurious really expensive um and the price point is absolutely amazing i've seen mirrors like this that are priced at like 700 to a thousand pounds which in my mind is just kind of too expensive their price point is a lot lower and it really is affordable for such a luxury beautiful product that is going to stand the test of time this isn't something that you'll use for two weeks and then get rid of this isn't something that you'll use for two years and get rid of this is a thing that as long as you look after it and you don't smash it it will go forever and you'll be able to carry on using it forever it's not an item that you will ever really need to get rid of it's beautiful it's timeless it sits on any makeup desk and i just love it in tall because i just love big mirrors like this i think they look very glamorous and kind of like modern old hollywood in a sense um they also do smaller ones if you guys want to check those out they do portable ones um but this one itself is one that i wanted because it's just phenomenal it looks amazing i love the fact it's got magnets through the middle so you can pop your mirror on there you can hold things on there it's so useful like you're literally on the mirror right now which is so useful because i can do my makeup here and still be looking in the mirror at the same time which i think is a lot of like people struggle if they do like youtube videos or makeup videos or tiktoks whatever the case may be it's also not too heavy or hard to put together it probably took me five minutes to put together there's literally an acrylic base you slide the mirror in and then you tighten some screws at the back to make sure it's not like bending backwards and forwards and then you just plug it in it's so easy and it's not too heavy it's heavy in a sense that it's sturdy heavy like you can feel like it's well built but it's not like oh i can't lift it up if you know what i mean so if you live on your own and you're like a small woman that can't lift things up i'm with you um but this was so easy for me to pick up and put on a base it literally took me i don't know five minutes maybe less um and it's just incredible it's so quick to set up it's gorgeous even as a gift if you bought someone this as a gift i know they would absolutely love it when my sister saw this she was like oh my god i want one so you could put it on your christmas wish list your birthday wish list or even buy it for your daughter your sister your niece your friend whatever the case may be it's just beautiful i mean having good lighting isn't just for people that do like professional makeup it's for everybody i kid you not i have been using this brush let me show you where are you there you are so i've been using this brush for ages i've not washed it since i've got it gross i know and i've been applying my powder with it and then the day i got this i've been using the magnifying mirror just to like check like there's a hair there i can't even see it i've been literally looking at myself in a camera and i've not noticed that there's hairs on my face and another one there you just don't notice things so i've been applying powder with this and you know when your brush is dirty and you get those little like balls on your face i had them all over my face and i'd been going out like that because i couldn't see them in a normal mirror <laughs> and then i looked in here and i was like oh my god and i literally picked them all off with my tweezers it's just such like i can see so much on my skin i can see like little tiny blackheads i've got a spot there that i didn't even know that i had and also you know when it gets to winter time and like it's really dark outside and you're trying to do your makeup before you leave and then you do it in like i don't know like a lamp and then you go out and your face is like the complete wrong color and your makeup looks horrible i've done that probably 50 times this mirror you're never going to have that problem because you can literally do your makeup with the curtains closed in the pitch black and your makeup will still look good so yeah i love this mirror if you guys are interested in it then be sure to click the link in the description it's literally incredible like i really 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 recommend it so check the link in the description if you guys want to check it out and let's jump into the makeup routine so the first thing i'm going in with is my ysl touche clark blurring primer i use this stuff even on the days that i'm not wearing makeup because it really does blur your skin and it just looks absolutely gorgeous it just makes everything look so airbrushed and like seamless and just stunning it's such a beautiful like luxurious feeling product it just feels like divine when you put it on your skin the makeup i'm doing today is like not glam but kind of like natural glam i'm not using a base um if you do want to use a base i would definitely recommend this one the um giorgio armani luminous silk foundation it's what i use when i am wearing a base um and I also recommend the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturiser, but today I'm trying to go with concealer because my skin's quite good. Um, I am filming, so I'm filming like a, a haul today, so I would usually put foundation on, but I just, hmm, should I put it on? 
no it's okay i just can't really be bothered and it's quite warm as well so i don't like wearing too much liquid product when it's warm so that's my primer all applied okay so i've just let my primer all sink in you can definitely see that my skin looks very much not airbrush but kind of blown out and it really like i don't know just it blurs thing it's the touche cloud blurring primer so that's what it does um i will be linking all of the products i use in the description for you guys to check out if you want to um because i do really highly recommend all of the products i'm showing you guys they're like my ride or die products i think they're incredible um and another thing about this mirror is it's got a phone charger built in so i'm literally charging my phone right now while i talk to you which i just think is so useful because like how many times are you like i don't know watching youtube videos or netflix or something while you're doing your makeup i do it all the time I'm going with my concealer this is the maybelline fit me i think in the shade number 10 um and i've been doing that tiktok trick where you kind of do that underneath your eye and not go right other way underneath your eye and it seems to be working for me i really quite like it um it's kind of like a reverse contour i think it's called and then i put a little bit here because i always get redness around the bottom of my nose like that, I put some on my forehead. Um, and with my concealer, obviously it is darker than my skin, but as you can probably tell, I fake tan my body and not my face uh, because I use retinol on my face. So if I put fake tan on, the retinol just gets rid of it because retinol is active. Um, so then I just blend all my concealer out. So I like to use a couple of shades darker to just match my face to my body. And then I'll just, you know, work with bronzers and stuff to try and even everything out. It is a lot easier when I use like a tinted moisturiser, something like that, just to give myself more of like a um, even tone because it can be quite annoying. You know what I mean? Like my skin looks like really good, the best it's ever looked, but because it's so pale, I can't really go makeup free because I just look really weird um, having like a uh, really white face and a tan body. It just looks strange. If any of you guys know a fake tan I can use while using retinol, I would love to hear about it because i have been searching high and low for a um foundation not foundation <laughs> for a fake tan i can use um while using retinol at the same time but i've literally just been struggling so much i think it's pretty much impossible to do because retinol gets rid of all the nasties on your skin like any like dead skin cells or like pigmentation or anything it fixes so it just eats the uh, fake tan i literally put fake tan on over night time and by the time i wake up it's gone because the retinol's got rid of it there we go i also like to put the concealer on my eyes um i just kind of drag it up and round with a brush um, to apply it to my eyes because I've got quite veiny eyelids. Now I'm going to go in with my contour. This is the high definition contour in the shade 002 Cool. Um, I like using a cool shade because I feel like it looks a lot ashier and more like a contour. Um, I feel like um, I feel like warm contours don't really do the trick because it just it doesn't give that shadow effect. Um, so I just apply that cheekbones jawline and temple area and on my forehead there we go and then i will apply it to my nose in a second but i will do that with a separate brush so the brush i use to do my nose contour is this one i know it's not like your typical nose contour but what i like to do is i like to bring my contour down like this i like sculpt my face out because i've got a very round face and i feel like doing that just really makes your face look a lot more and then i will just like really roughly blend out the contour i am literally such a imperfect makeup person like i don't like do things really neatly i just kind of like whack it on and like blend it out roughly um i'm not really like perfect with it i'm quite messy with it um i feel like if you try to be really perfect with it it can kind of end up going the opposite way because I don't know I feel like you end up putting loads of pressure on yourself and it's just really like I don't know I feel like you end up messing up anyway because you're putting so much pressure on yourself for it to look perfect um I used to do that my makeup's always like I've always had the best makeup looks when I've been like rushing to like get out the door and then I can spend like four hours on my makeup and it'll look worse than if I'd spent 10 minutes on it um I think it's because when you do that you've got a lot of pressure on yourself to make it look perfect I think blending out contour is my like least favorite bit of makeup because it's so time consuming making sure it's all blended out nicely and like you don't have like weird lines anywhere like i do here 
Now I'm going to go in with contour and blush. Uh, I've been really liking this blush that I just found in my makeup bag. No idea where it's from. I've been mixing it. Um, but what I like to do, this is a new trick I've been doing, is instead of going over my entire face with powder, I've been using bronzer to set the areas that obviously you'd be using bronzer anyway, so you're not doubling up on powder, and then I've been using blush to set the areas I'd be using blush, and then I go in with my actual powder, which is the Coty Air Spun Powder, on like my chin, my nose, my forehead, places that I don't have uh, bronzer or blush, that's already set the makeup, and that way you don't end up with a really powdery finish, it just looks really beautiful, really natural. And it also means you've got less layers of um, makeup on. And then for blush, this is what I'm going to be using. Um, I don't know where it's from. I just found it in my makeup bag, so I'm going to be using it. It's kind of like a darker pink. Um, and then I've been mixing it with the Natural Collections blush. And this is just the powder blusher. It doesn't say what shade it's in. Um, and then I like to apply my blush actually up here. Like this. On my cheekbones. And then bring it down slowly. Because if you've got a round face again... Don't put it like, don't do that and put it on the apples of your cheeks because it will make your face look even rounder. A friend of mine taught me that. I didn't know. But it really does slim your face down if you apply it up here. It gives a really nice natural flush. Then I will go in with a tiny bit of my normal powder. Like I said, Coty Airspun, really like this. This is a dupe for the Laura Mercier. I have used the Laura Mercier and I didn't find it to be that amazing of a powder. Um, I just didn't. I just didn't think it was worth the price tag. Um, because it just, I don't know. It just didn't give me the results I'd want for a powder that's so pricey, if that makes sense. Um, I'd want a lot better results from it. And I just didn't get them. So I've been using this, which was recommended by Tarty. Tarty Westbrook. You guys probably know that I love her. Tarty's like one of the only like uh, beauty YouTubers I watch. Tarty and Jeffrey are the only ones I watch. Um, and she recommended this and she really liked it. So I just use this to set the areas that haven't already been set. Like underneath my eyes, my nose, above my mouth, down here. I don't set with bronzer or anything and then I do my forehead as well and just there because I don't really put much powder there there we go sorted okay so I'm going to say I'm going to call that a day with the powder because I don't want to go overboard and then I'm going to go in with my highlight this is from Burberry um it's beautiful it's a really really gorgeous highlight mine's actually smashed but oh well um, it's just a really pretty kind of like rose gold shade and I don't use too much of it. I just use it in a few little areas um, like the inner corners of my eyes and down the bridge of my nose. And I'll pop a little bit there as well. Now, a lot of people find this weird. I actually use a gel eyeliner to do my eyebrows because I feel like it just works the best. I've bought so many eyebrow pencils, so many eyebrow pomades. I have used pretty much everything you can try to do my eyebrows. And I find that it either takes too long, like this little pencil thing, it's so small, you can barely even see it. It's so small that it just takes me forever to like do my eyebrows, which I just can't be bothered. I've got naturally blonde eyebrows, my eyebrows aren't really thick. Um, if I use a pomade, it looks really like blocky. If I use a pen, it looks awful. Like this is the only thing I found that works for me. So if you've got stubborn eyebrows and they're dark, maybe try an eyeliner gel. It works the best. I can't talk while I do my eyebrows, but I'll explain what I do. I line it underneath first, and then I fill in a little bit of colour in the tail area, and then I use my little spoolie brush to blend it all through. Okay, so I just fill the tails in with colour, as you can see, and then I will just use my spoolie to kind of blend it through. And that way it doesn't look too blocky or anything like that. It just looks quite natural. Okay, so that's my eyebrows done. I think they look nice. I think that I think my eyebrows are like probably the best they've ever been. Um, I'm sure some people are like <laughs> at that, but like I just I just think they are. So that is pretty much it on an average day i would probably leave it here but because i'm filming i want to take it a little bit further so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take some eyeshadow and go underneath my eyes to give a little bit of definition to try and kind of draw my eyes out a little bit and give a bit of a cat eye effect so i'm trying to use my Too faced chocolate bar palette and use semi-sweet and hot chocolate um and then i just go 
underneath and just kind of like fluff it out and add a little bit of colour. That's pretty much all I put underneath and then I'm going to go in with this brush which is just like a really fluffy brush. I'm going to add a little bit of a shimmer underneath my brows just to kind of lighten the area up a little bit. Then I'm going to go in with Salted Caramel which is a really light brown. It's kind of like a skin tone brown. And then I'm going to pop a little bit of eyeliner on just for fun because I'm filming today. I'm just going to dip in there, grab some and I like to kind of use my eyeliner trying to get a cat eye effect. The foxy thing that everybody loves at the minute um i've been doing it for a really long time before it was even a trend but yeah that's what i like to do okay so that is pretty much it for my eyeliner i just like to drag it in in the inner corners as well and you can see that really elongates my eyes and makes such a difference honestly i don't know how it makes such a difference but it's insane my eyes look completely changed when i do that now I'm going to apply a little bit of mascara. I literally stopped wearing mascara for years and years and years. I didn't wear it. I didn't like it. It just used to annoy me. But now I love it. I don't know why. I just got back into it. I try to enjoy myself. Do you know what I mean? GC style. I don't think that's what she says, but whatever. The mascara I've been using is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. This is quite wet for my liking. It kind of makes my eyelashes quite clumpy. Um, but I feel like if you were using it on your upper lashes, it'd be really nice. But I wear full C's. I usually have eyelash extensions, but at the minute, full C's because lockdown. There we go. That is my makeup, pretty much. You can probably see that I've got black underneath my eyes. Don't worry about that. I will clean it up uh, with a like Q-tip once it's dried. If it's wet, you'll just smear it everywhere. Lip liner, probably one of my favourite makeup products ever, I'd say um brows and lips are like my most important thing i just like to outline my lips there we go once i've lined my lips my lips look 10 times bigger i don't overline them i just fill them in um i don't overline my lips at all like as you can see i'll get really close so you can see i don't overline my lips at all i just line my lips normally um but because my lip border really bleeds out it looks like my lips are 10 times bigger when I've got lip liner on, which is why it's one of my favorite products. Oh, and then I need to pick out an outfit because I'm filming a... Ah, my hair's stuck. Ah, I'm filming a haul today, so I need like a nice outfit to wear. This is like such an easy way to do your hair, honestly. Just curling it, put it in rollers, and then I like to stick some um, hairspray on. There we go, that's my hair. It's very like my sister says I look like a middle aged woman with my hair like this, but I really like it. Like the big voluminous fringe and the curls and everything. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get dressed, and then I will talk to you guys probably later after I film my haul or just before. So I'll chat to you in a bit. Bye. So I'm at home now, as you can tell. I've got a sneak peek of what home renovations are happening. I'm literally just about to sit down and film a haul. I've got a giant ASOS bag over there. Excuse the mess. Obviously redecorating causes a huge mess. I've got this big bag of ASOS stuff, this big bag of ASOS stuff. So this is going to be a long video. <laughs> Hello everyone, should I put this up? Will that help you see me a little bit? Okay, so obviously I am changed now. I've been home, done my um, filming that I needed to do, taken like, I don't know, 50 Instagram pictures, which is, yeah, actually that's quite good. Um, I've taken like, I think I'm gonna start posting just like outfit content on my Instagram, I think with like just bits and bobs of other content. Oh, indicated the last minute, why don't you? I'm gonna just focus on like outfit content for my Instagram right now. I think that's the best thing for me and I think that I'm gonna enjoy the most. And the thing that I think you enjoy the most because my outfit videos, my outfit posts, even on my outfit videos, they seem to do the best out of all of the things that I post. Like if I like post like a mirror selfie of my outfit, you guys, love it that's where I get my highest engagement oh, that's where I get my highest engagement so I feel like it just will work well all round um so I'm kind of excited about that I've just filmed a haul obviously and I've oh my god some of the pieces are I actually cried over the one I don't know why I'm crying over dresses but I swear to you it is absolutely stunning 
but I'm on my way back now. I'm gonna get some editing done, get some emails sent. I've got an email that urgently needs sorting out, and I've been meaning to do it for like three days, so I need to sort that out today. Um, and yeah, I've just got like little bits and bobs to get done. I'm having a very productive day. It is half past 12. So just for reference, if you wonder how long it takes to like film or anything like that, I have got, I got to mine at probably quarter past nine and I got straight stuck in um, and I have been working since then until now. So that's like three hours, half past nine, half past 10, half 11, half 12. I've been like doing that for three hours. Um, filming and taking photos and stuff like that and I didn't like have a break in between I've not eaten or anything like that I've literally just been straight um filming taking Instagram photos all that stuff so I've literally not stopped so that's taking me about three hours which I don't think is that bad because like I have to bring the mirror downstairs I have to set the camera up I need to get like the background right the lot so it is quite a lot to actually do I think people just think you like sit down and film and that's it but there's a lot more that actually goes into it um so yeah Gonna, that's my plan I think I'm gonna go home maybe make myself a little bit of food because I'm a little bit peckish now I just make myself a smoothie actually I've not felt too well um I've not felt too well at all too well for the past few days like almost like I don't know I've just not felt fantastic so I think I'm gonna have like a smoothie instead of like an actual lunch um I think that seems like the best thing to do how cute does my little boy look he looks beautiful. Oh, look at those ears. Hi, Bongi. Bentley does that thing where he like growls if another dog comes near him. And Dexter's just come downstairs. Get down then, Bentley, go on. Good boy, calm down, off. Good boy. Okay, you ignore him, Bong Bong. It's okay, do you wanna go outside? My face is so greasy right now. I literally look like a hard boiled egg. I need to go and top up my powder. I've been so sweaty today. Honestly, I don't think people realize how sweaty you get filming and like how hot you get, like changing in and out of clothes a million times. Um, but I look horrible, so I need to go and powder my face in a sec. Um, I have just done like the bulk of my editing for this video. Oh my God, it is half an hour long. I had like an hour's worth of footage. I've had to cut it down as much as I possibly can. Um, so I've cut like the main bit down now and now I just need to import some clips and stuff like that, which I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna go powder my face because look at me, my face looks wet. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's taken me so long. I'm almost done, literally. Half an hour long and I had so much footage that I've had to go through. So now I'm gonna import all the clips of me trying things on and then get it finished. Hey guys, so um, in all honesty, it is the next day now. Um, yesterday, I just didn't feel well. I, it got to like midday and I just didn't feel very well. So I thought, you know what, I'll just pick the vlog up tomorrow around the same time because I didn't manage to get anything done that I needed doing anyway. Um, I still need to go to the post office and go food shopping because I didn't do it. I like lay down for a nap about midday. I got all my work done that I needed doing. Lay down for a nap and I just didn't get up again from my nap because I just felt really poorly. So that is what's happened, ladies and gents. It is now the next day. Um, I've just been home to do some stuff which you will see in the um, renovations vlog if you watch that. It's coming very soon. Um, I've just been home to do like a little bit of work there. Um, I, I'm trying to slam the door, it's just taking so long, but you'll see that all in there. So, I've just been home, now I'm heading back to my friend's house to drop the dog off. And also, um, I need to get changed because I'm wearing a dress. Um, I just don't think it's a very smart thing to do, to go um, food shopping in a dress. Because it, you need to like bend over to pick things up, and if you're wearing a dress, it's like, hello, here's my cooch. So, I'm not doing um, but yeah, I really need to go to post office. I've been meaning to for literally like probably three weeks. It's a problem at this point. I need to go. Um, so I will do that today. And I also need to get food shopping. So I'll probably chat to you then. It'll probably just be like a little bit of like silent clips from my phone. So enjoy a little montage because I hate filming in public, especially when I'm on my own. But I'm gonna go now because it's getting so hot in here because I've got no aircon on. So I'll chat to you later. I'm just about to walk out the door and go shopping, throwing my handbag. Um, I honestly hate going food shopping. I think it's like 
just one of the worst things in life. I hate it. I've actually recently bought some AirPods, which has made the whole experience a lot better and more tolerable. But without them, I don't think I would survive. Um, I was going to go to the post office, as you guys know, because I have one, two, three, four things to return. Um, which needs doing now because honestly one of the things I don't even know if they're gonna take it because it's been So long like literally so long since I should have sent it back I should have sent it back within like 30 days and I think it's been like 90 so fingers crossed Hey guys, so I got back from doing the shopping a while ago now and I also got some peonies. How pretty are these? They're so lovely. I love peonies So pretty they're honestly just like the most beautiful flowers ever. They're stunning. Um, and I've just popped them there for now because my friend doesn't have any vases. Typical man. Um, I've just got changed into a bikini because it is really sunny outside and I'm trying to get a natural tan. I don't think that's possible for me, but I'm trying. Um, I'm also doing my nails. I've just filed all my nails off and I'm trying to redo them uh, because they're definitely in need of that. But yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. So I will let you know. I might stick you on a time lapse so you can watch me do my nails. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on. So I just finished doing my nails. This is the color I ended up doing. I didn't film it because it literally just took me so long and it was so boring. It was so sunny, you could barely see anything. So I thought, what's the point in filming it when you literally can barely see what I'm doing? But I really like the color of them. They're really summery and cute. But I'm literally about to head in the shower right now and then go to bed because I'm so tired, I've had such a long day um, and this makeup needs to come off, you can see how like greasy it is um, but yeah, I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video and thank you so much to Ricky Loves Ricky for sponsoring this video I literally love my mirrors so much you guys should definitely check them out, it's a product I really recommend and something that you're just going to last your lifetime so I'll leave a link in the description for you guys to go check it out but yeah, other than that, I hope you guys have a lovely week and I'll see you next week with a new video, bye!